know about you, but I am so excited for summer. So today we are going to decorate my foyer in a summer theme. We have three DIYs and I'm going to provide each of you with a free printable. For the past couple summers, I have decorated in a nautical theme, I've used lemons, we've done coastal themes, lots of shells, a huge variety of different styles for summer. This summer I'm switching it up again and it's kind of a unique theme, but I thought let's go with a bee vacations in France for the summer. Right? That makes sense. So we are going to do a lot of French bee inspired decor for my summer foyer table. Let's jump right in to our first DIY. I love decorating with glass jars, apothecary jars, and cloches. So we're going to make some vase fillers for our apothecary jars and this cloche. We're gonna start off with a wood round. I got this package at Michael's. We're gonna be using four of them. What we're going to do to these wood rounds is we're going to Mod Podge some tissue paper over the top. I found this gorgeous B tissue paper at Ross. This package was $2.99. This tissue paper was actually my inspiration for this whole design. I love these gold beads on this tissue paper. You can get inspiration from so many random items. I've used gift bags, I've used wrapping paper, a scrapbook paper. Today, our inspiration comes from tissue paper. Now I'm going to cover both sides of my wood rounds. So what I did was I folded my tissue paper in half. I took my wood round, I placed it on top of the tissue paper, got a pencil, traced around the wood circle, and then cut out each circle to give me my eight circles. Next, I got some Mod Podge and a sponge brush, and I painted on the Mod Podge to the surface of the wood round. Once it was completely covered in the Mod Podge, I grabbed a circular tissue paper and I placed it over the top of the Mod Podge. Then I got my Cricut scraper and I pressed it firmly to the wood round. This helps to make it lay flat and gets out any air bubbles trapped underneath the tissue paper. Once the tissue paper was flat against the surface of the wood round, I repeated the process with the remaining three circles and then I let them dry for one hour. I came back and I flipped these circles over. I added some more Mod Podge to the top, got my round tissue paper circle and placed that over the top and then pressed it to the wood round with my scraper tool. Again, I repeated this process with the remaining three circles and then I let it dry for another hour. My tissue paper extended slightly beyond the edge of my circular round. To remedy this problem, I got some sandpaper and I sanded the edges of the wood rounds. This took off the excess tissue paper along the perimeter. Now I have a smooth edge on each of my wood rounds. At this point, I got some more Mod Podge and I painted on a thin layer over the top of each of my four wood rounds. I let that dry for an hour, I flipped them over and I repeated the process of painting on the Mod Podge to the second side and then I let them dry completely, which took another hour. Now I have these fantastic wood rounds that I put inside of my apothecary jar. They're so unique, I've never seen anything like this before. And it's a beautiful addition, a subtle addition, a personalized piece, and customizes this perfectly to my bee-themed tablescape. Our next project is another filler for our glass apothecary jar and our cloches. I found these glass orbs at Ross and we're going to customize them to fit in with our theme. The way we're going to do that is by creating a vinyl decal. 
I just got a stock decal of a bee on my Cricut Design Space. My Cricut Maker cut it out on some gold removable vinyl. I'm using removable vinyl so I can take this decal off and use these glass orbs in a different holiday or season. So what I did is I just put this B decal in the center of my glass orb. I pressed it firmly to the glass and then I removed the transfer tape. I repeated this process on my second glass orb and I love the way that this B decal elevates the look of these glass balls. Now I'm going to add my B rounds and my glass orbs inside of my jar. I also added some twine covered balls and some raffia covered smaller decorative balls. I put all those inside of my jar and then I placed my apothecary jar on top of a marble riser to give my jar some height. Now that our glass apothecary jar is completed, we are going to move down here to our cloche. I took my cloche and I added that second glass orb to the center. I put another one of those wood rounds with the bead tissue paper and a raffia covered smaller ball. I placed the glass cloche over the top of a hexagonal marble tray. It looks like a honeycomb. Psst, huh? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I've got bees on the brain. So that contributes to the overall feeling of the bee in the display. And then around the top, I placed a glass tassel garland. Let's move on to the center and create this beautiful floral arrangement. unique containers for my floral arrangements. I've used soup terrains in the past and I'm going to use it again today. In fact, this particular soup terrain I've used more for floral arrangements than I have for soup. So it does double duty. I love the shape of this soup terrain. It's an oval shape and it has a gorgeous detail on the front. This size is also perfect. I love the color too. It's an antique cream that is perfect for my French themed design. I like using the tape grid method. It cuts down on floral foam and it holds my flowers upright and in place. So I created a tape grid over the top of my soup terrine container. The florals that I chose for this arrangement are wisteria, hydrangea, and some roses. I'm gonna start off with my wisteria. I took my stem of wisteria and I bent the stem and then I placed it inside of my tape grid. Next, I took my French blue hydrangeas and I placed those in various areas throughout the arrangement. And finally, I got my cream pinky colored roses. I took those individual stems and I placed those sporadically throughout the arrangement. The final addition that I'm going to make to this arrangement is some lamb's ear. This lamb's ear is so pretty and it has a velvety touch, which adds a great texture to this arrangement. Again, I just placed those lamb's ear stems sporadically throughout the arrangement, filling in any vacant spaces. Now that we're all finished, I placed my beautiful floral arrangement right here in the center of my tablescape. I love the way that this floral arrangement brings in some freshness, brings in a natural element, and it really elevates the entire look of this tablescape. My video is part of a collaboration with several very talented YouTube ladies. Our theme today is summer, so each one of us are going to be creating some summer DIYs. The host of this collaboration is Liana from Liana DIY. I will leave a link to Liana's channel and also to the playlist so you can head on over and see all of the amazing DIYs that these talented ladies created. Let's 
let's move on to our free printable. Now it's been a while since I've done a free printable, so I figured it was about time. What I did was I just created this French bee design and I printed it out. The frame that I'm using is a mirrored frame, which coordinates with the frames that I have on either side of my large mirror. I purchased this particular frame at Home Goods. I took my French B printable and I placed it in the center of my frame. I got some double-sided tape and I placed a piece at the top of the picture and one at the bottom. The tape will hold the B picture in place. After my print was in the frame, I simply put the back piece of the frame back on and now I have a beautiful printable. I placed my picture on top of a black frame holder, which elevates the piece and gives another element of height variation to my tablescape. This was such an easy and affordable way to theme this tablescape. All I had to do was create this particular picture, put it in a frame that I already had and display it. I didn't have to go to the store, search for a B print, pay for it, etc. So if you're looking for a cheap way to get some decor pieces, simply creating something, printing it out and putting it in a frame is a great way to do it. If you like this particular print, I will leave a link in my description box so you can print it out at home and have it for yourself. The only additional piece that I added to my tablescape was this finial right here. I placed it on top of an upturned napkin holder to give it some height. I love how it's antiqued and a little distressed, which adds to the French feel that I'm going for. I am so in love with the way that this tablescape turned out. I'm happy I decided to go with this Be in France for the summer theme. It's a subtle theme that I can leave out all summer long and it does give off those summer vibes in a unique and classy way. Hopefully one of these pieces sparked your imagination so you can start decorating for summer. Can you believe it's already here? Man, time just goes by so fast. So we better get decorating because it will be con before we know it. If you are interested in seeing the other ways that I've decorated for this summer, I will leave a link to the summer playlist in my description box. I've got a lot of links in my description box today. Don't forget to head on over to the playlist and watch those summer DIYs. You can watch more of my summer DIYs and I have the link to this free printable. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for watching.